All right, so welcome to another episode of English Talk Hawaii, and today I'm very excited to have Mr. White here because a lot <laughs> of you guys may know him as Mr. White from the TV series uh-huh. on Grammy Channel. Yes, GMM25. What, what is it called again? In English, it's called uh, My Safari Girl, but in Thai, it's called Mali Puen Rak Palang Pisadan. And you are a biology teacher. Yes, in and the series, I'm a biology teacher. So, who, who are you in, in real life? I am a news anchor for Channel One. I'm also a uh, freelance MC, bilingual MC, and I'm also a host for a weekend program called One Big World, and that's on uh, every Saturday at 12:30 or at noon, around noon. Okay, so you're a news anchor. Yes. You're acting. Mm-hmm. Are you teaching as well? Used to. I used to be an English teacher as well. So what 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 changed your mind? How come you're not teaching anymore? Um. Well, actually, the opportunity came to apply for a job as a news anchor at Channel One. I was also a previous news anchor for NBT World, same place that you're working at right now, actually. All right. And yep. then, since you speak both languages fluently, so uh-huh. can you tell our viewers a little bit about how did that come about? Actually, I cheated because I grew up speaking English, so that doesn't <laughs> that what, doesn't really count. So, were you born and raised here in Thailand? Yeah, I was born, born in international school. I was born and raised in Thailand. I went to a Thai school from like kindergarten until twelfth grade. However, I studied uh, in the U.S. for my graduate, and then for my. Uh, Graduate. Wait, undergraduate. 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 I did it in the U.S. and for my graduate, I did it uh, in the U.K. So, who did you speak English with when you were growing up? I spoke it with my mom, which uh, who is American, and my American family mm-hmm. in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So when I go there, I speak English. Okay. So um, since well, you were saying that you used to teach, right? So what are the problems that you think? Getting in a way for kids to stay to learn how to speak English fluently for kids in Thailand. In Thailand, yes. To speak English fluently, well, they have to use it <clears throat> every day. You have to use English every day, no matter what you do. Try to use it every day. However, that uh, creates some sort of problem because you don't have a foreigner mm. speaking English to you every day. If I were to give an example of me learning other languages, because I've also learned uh, Chinese. And I also did French. When I studied those language, I would write a lot of the vocabularies down, and I would try to review it every day. Going to work, going to uh, my classroom, I would possibly think of sentences in those languages. And did you have anyone to speak French or Chinese with? Uh, I had a one-on-one tutor. For me, I find it best to uh, learn a language with a one-on-one tutor. However, that doesn't work for everybody because sometimes they think that there's a lot of pressure with one-on-one tutors, expensive. However, for me, learning languages, uh, I can do it rather quick in the beginning. So one-on-one works best for me. So, did you forget? Like certain phrases sometimes when you yeah, don't use it on a daily basis. Yeah, I I forget certain phrases because I don't use it, but for English or Thai, no, because I use it every day. Okay, um, so what you said you speak French and Chinese. So can mm-hmm. you introduce yourself in French? In French, okay. Bonjour, je m'appelle Dani. Uh, j'ai étudié français pour deux ans maintenant, et maintenant je 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 travaille à Grammy Channel One. So you et je fais les informations dans la télévision. Okay, so you were saying you've been working with Grammy for three years. No, I said one. Uh, I'm working at Grammy now. Okay.